Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about uh, Knit Pal. Hey guys, welcome back. So I was contacted by the creator of the company called KnitPal.com. She is an independent dyer in California. Her name is Casey. <laughs> she, um, she started dyeing yarn because she had a friend ask her to make them a uh, item for their sport team. And she had a really hard time finding the right colors for said sport team. So what she did is like, well, you know, I'll just do it myself. So she dyed uh, yarn for her friend's favorite sports team, which I don't know if she told me what that was. But um, to match, you know, so that her friend could be all festive at the ball game or whatever it was. I'm assuming it's football. <laughs> but, um, and then she decided, well, you know, maybe I should start doing this for other people too. Because it's hard to find team colors that are exactly the colors that you're, you want for your team. So she started making a bunch of them. And she actually takes requests to um, to make specific teams colors um but you do have to buy a certain quantity to do that obviously because you know it takes a lot of time and money to make a lot of yarn <laughs> a lot number of yarn is what i'm trying to say not a lot of quantity but like a set of that one color that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> but um so she did contact me and offered to send me some yarn for me to review for you guys and i said yeah because yarn <laughs> is awesome and um i do have some teams that i love watching uh but although I think her yarn is directed mostly towards college football teams, <clears throat> I'm sure she could do any color for any team because, you know, it's just usually two colors. My idea was uh, hockey because I'm a hockey person. I don't enjoy any other sport other than hockey. And I'm, I'm not like a team loyal kind of person. I am loyal to the Predators because they're the Tennessee team. And, uh, you know, I take pride in them being from Tennessee. <laughs> so I do support them. But there's also a bunch of other teams that I love. And I, I will really sit down and watch any hockey game <laughs> because uh, I just love hockey. But, um... Uh, so I did pick out um, Michigan State colors just because they're super similar to Tennessee Predator, <laughs> Nashville Predator colors. But I'll show you the yarn in just a second. I want to talk a little bit about her website and I will link that below. So one thing that I thought was super cool about her website and she when she initially emailed me before I even responded to her, I went and checked out her website because I will never accept a uh, review offer or even a sponsorship offer in the future maybe <laughs> from people. Uh, unless I 100% enjoy their products and agree with their business, if that makes sense. So I went to her website and I read her whole about me page and I went through her store and everything. Just, you know, perusing. <laughs> and one thing that I thought was super cool about her, I got my computer right here, is what I'm looking. And I might pop it up on the screen. One thing I thought was super cool is um, that all their yarn is biodegradable, meaning that it's natural fibers, which is good. Because even though I do use a ton of acrylic yarn because I am poor. <laughs> or not rich I guess I should say um I would love to use only natural fibers when I have the opportunity to because if things do end up in a landfill they will biodegrade acrylic yarn will not or it will at least take a really long time and I know this from personal experience because there's a piece of yarn in our garden box outside that's been laying there for over a year and it's still laying there the only thing that's changed about it is its color just because the dye has worn off but also it says that each color is crafted from scratch. Each skein is hand dyed with passion and love in SoCal, which is South California. I almost said Carolina, <laughs> but um, Southern California. And um, the yarn, the Hanks, before she dyes them, she gets them from eth ethically <laughs> sourced sources. Does that make sense? She gets it from usually women-based uh, operations, which is also good. Um, in rural areas, in uh, other countries, so she helps support other, you know, how am I going to say this without being offensive? Other people who need more money. <laughs> but she also gets it sometimes from the U.S. I think some of her yarn that she mentioned recently was from um, Michigan, I think, or somewhere like that. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. It's been a while since I read her website. And then um, another, another really cool thing is every yarn purchase that someone buys from her, she donates three pairs of socks to... Um, the Pine Ridge Reservation. I'm looking to make sure I say it all correctly, which is really cool because it, you know, you you get yarn to make whatever you want, but you also are helping provide for underprivileged people. So that's always awesome. <laughs> from what I've gathered from her website, um, the blog section is really uh, interesting. She does post relatively often on there, and it's a lot of it covers a lot of different topics. Um, she had a gift guide on there, and she had some patterns on there, and then she had. Um, there's one category that's Team Spirit Yarn Shopping Guide, so it has like the regular yarns everybody's used to, Red Heart and Lion Brand and all that, and like their team colors. 
So that's really interesting um, content. She was super responsive throughout our emailing, so I'm sure if you are a customer and you need to contact her, she'll probably message you back pretty quickly. She is a small company. Her website is super professional, but it's not a huge company. It's her in her backyard dying yarn. So uh, she's professional, obviously, because her website's really nice. And uh, the yarn that I got already, I, I enjoy it <laughs> just from looking at it and touching it. But um, so I think I would feel confident in referring her or referring her to someone to purchase yarn. She does have a shop section. And uh, of course, because you know, she also has kits which come with patterns, which is really neat. And uh, I believe they're knit patterns, but uh, maybe she'll eventually make some crochet ones or for the people out there who do knit and crochet, there are options out there. But anyways, let's get to the good part, the part y'all really care about, which is the yarn. I did say that I got Michigan colors and the colorway is Michigan blue and Michigan maize like corn. <laughs> are y'all ready? Da -da -da. Okay, the, the blue is going to be blown out because it's dark. There you go. It's like a dark navy blue and a gold color. Ah, stupid camera. There you go. <laughs> That's more like it. But I picked these out because they look like predator colors. And I have no idea what I'm going to make with it yet. <laughs> but uh, one thing I thought was neat was this thing that she's... Usually they use a piece of yarn to stick it on there, but this is like actual little tag thing. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I thought that was neat. But uh, she's got all her information on there. On the, the yarn labels. Ooh, almost threw it right there you probably can't see it because my camera's not fancy but it is 100% fine superwash merino this is decay she has all sizes she asked me which one I preferred and I said worsted or decay pretty much <laughs> or any yarn really so she made me some decay they are 250 yards each so that's 500 yards together um and then she's got the gauge on there kind of machine wash and hand Machine wash gentle or hand wash <laughs> in cold water, lay flat to dry. And this one, let me see if both of them are. Yeah, both of these hanks originated from Peru and they were hand dyed in Moore Park, California. And she wrote down the, um, the color num name, <laughs> which is Michigan Blue and Michigan Maze. And she also write, wrote down the Pantone color number, which is cool. That's one thing that's really um, interesting about the sports world. They're super strict about their school colors or, you know, uh, team colors. They actually have Pantone numbers for their team colors so that you can 100% match um, everything that is meant to be, you know, like Alabama colors or whatever. I do not know why I said Alabama. I'm from Tennessee. We're not supposed to talk about them. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, she's got them on the bottom, which is really neat. And, you know, first impression, this is super knit crazy. It reminds me of knit crate yarn. It's, it feels soft even though it's 100% wool. It's super rush wool, so it is softer. It's, you know, it's just, it's a nice looking yarn. Let me separate it real fast. So I can see how many ply it is. It's four ply, which means it's four little threads twisted together to make a, like a yarn. <laughs> I don't know, it's nice, it smells good. Does it smell stinky or nothing? It feels super soft. Now, this is just my initial review. I will, of course, be making another video once I actually make something with this. And I'm thinking about making some kind of neck wear with it. Because when I go back to another hockey game, it's really cold in there. <laughs> Obviously, it's a room full of ice. Um, I'm going to... I can wear it because it's Predator colors. <laughs> That's my goal. At least we shall see. But I do, I do approve of this yarn so far. So far, so good. I haven't got to use it yet. Obviously, it's still in hank form. But once I do use it, I will redo another video and share with you guys my final result of my review. <laughs> but she did offer me a coupon code for you guys. Uh, it's really short. That's why I wanted to hurry and get this video out because it ends Cyber Monday, which is next Monday, the 2nd of December. Okay, the coupon code is for 20% uh, off to my viewers, which is you guys. And the coupon code is Ella, my name, E-L-L-A, 2020. So it's Ella 20. And you get 20% off of your order. That is $49.50 and over. <laughs> and it expires into Cyber Monday. So that will be the end of December 2nd. So you have to throw them to use it if you're interested. Of course, there's no pressure. <laughs> but I will link her shop and her website below. And you can check out her About Me section, which is really interesting. She explains everything about how she came up with the idea and all that. And you can also um, check out the storefront there. And she does have the kits, like I said. But they are knit kits, not crochet kits. And she's got all kinds of yarns already put out, you know, like the bigger schools, and then you do have a, there she has a little section where you can um, request a yarn color, but like I said, if you request a color, I think you have to buy five 
or more skeins of that. So you would I would only suggest doing that if you were gonna make a big old project or make multiple projects for you know gifts. Alright, so that's pretty much everything I have to say about this yarn right now. I do like it so far, so we shall see after I make something and I'll let you I'll update you guys along the way, of course, as always. <laughs> but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.